The following will cover individual privacy functionality with inside of Visual, starting with a discussion of individual privacy, then moving into finding data, followed by printing a privacy report, getting into the details of data redaction, tools for monitoring usage, a discussion on limitations and exclusions, followed by best practices. Let's begin by covering the requirements for individual privacy. Use the Individual Privacy Program to help your company comply with the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation. The intent of the GDPR is to give individuals more control over their personal data. Upon request, an organization is required to provide a copy of an individual's personal data stored in the organization's database. Terminology with GDPR include data subjects, which are the individuals, as well as data controllers, the owners of the data or the owners of the database. Now let's take a look at compliance overview, which includes product capability, the GDPR reference, and the visual solution. Data controllers can access information on the behalf of the data subject, and they can further provide them a report. Data controllers can also update data for the data subject. Subject's data can be erased or removed by the controllers. Data subject information can be set inactive by the controller and security can prevent further processing of the data subject's information. Data controllers can print reports or export information based on the data subject. Automated decision making is not a function of visual. The data controller can return data in printed or machine reportable format and delete subject data. The controller can secure application access by user logins and passwords that are encrypted. Additionally, there are no data processing activities that require consent. Let's begin by looking at the search tool. You can find the program underneath the admin menu. Here you can notice that the utility will look for first name, last name, and the name fields inside of the database. You'll also see that we can group by employee where the search looks at the employee table by customer. And here are the tables associated with the customer. And you'll notice that there are CRM tables included. Also the data group contact includes these tables, including CRM, by vendor, including the following tables. The sales rep table is used for our last data group. As an example, I will search for the name Mark inside of the database. I'll press the refresh key or I could use the tab key to initiate the search. And you'll notice that the data groups are presented on the left hand side. I can sort by the data group just by touching the top of the column. I can also do multiple column sorts by using the shift key. Here you'll notice on the top I can filter by the data groups just by unselecting or selecting the data groups. In the following example, I'm using a wildcard with a space to focus on the last name of my data subject when doing a search on a name column. The search results can be exported to Excel. Use the Send to Microsoft Excel tool. Search results can also be sent to a report. Let's look at the details. The individual privacy report includes the standard print options. Printing, view to the screen, send to a file, CSV file, or email, which includes the PDF form option. The report is organized and sorted by data group. It includes the primary key of the document and the data subject's information. This section includes the process for data redaction. Note, if you redact a data subject's data, data cannot be recovered. Prior to displaying a redact example, I want to review the selected contacts information. Here you can see my example of the contact I selected, and you'll notice that the primary key is the contact ID for this data subject. Also note that underneath the profile tab, the marital status and the gender will be set to not specified when the data is redacted. Begin by selecting the rows to be redacted from your search. In my example, I'm only selecting the contact. However, the contact is also inside of customer orders. Those rows will not be redacted unless they are selected. The customer contact will redact 
this case. Once your data is selected, you can now go to Redact Personal Information. And inside of there, you will get a warning. Here's your opportunity to reverse or continue on with the Redact process. I have selected to continue, and you'll notice that my contact is no longer in the search. After the data is redacted, text strings are now turned to X's. Dates are set to null. And here you can see in this example, the marital status and the gender are now set to not specified. When working with customer, employee, and vendor tables, there are other tables that will be redacted at the same point. For customer and vendor, the email document tables, and for the employee, it will be a CRM table. The individual privacy documentation includes a complete list of data that can be redacted. It will be organized by interface location, database table, and redacted columns. The following summarizes what happens to additional products after data has been redacted. For example, bots will have to be manually sent again. Employee data that is redacted in visual is redacted in time and attendance as well. Third-party products will require you to work with your providers to solve the product redact of private data. Let's look at the tools for monitoring usage of the individual privacy application. Under the file menu, choose list history. The list history window includes three filters. We have a date range, the actions of either printed or redacted, and of course the data group filters. To retrieve the details, press the refresh button. Here you'll notice that I have the data groups, my primary document key, the action that was taken, the user that actually did the action, and finally the date that the action took place. The list history window also includes the standard print options of print, view, file, and email, including the PDF format option. In this section, limitations and exclusions will be discussed. The program only reviews the first name, last name, and the name columns inside of the database. Other columns will have to be manually reviewed. See the individual privacy documentation for columns that are limited to redact. Further, here's a list of items or elements that are not used in the search or the redact program. To finish, let's look at a couple of best practice items. It's recommended that you do not use individual names or other personal information in the primary keys. Primarily employee ID, customer ID, vendor ID, and sales rep IDs but any other primary key should be avoided as well. Personal data inside of document attachments will be handled manually, so you should designate the attachment contains personal data. You may also want to consider creating a file name or even attachments in a designated folder to identify personal data attachments. Thank you for watching this video on Visual's individual privacy application.